Isolation Nation. I'm back and I'm worse than ever, better than ever. <laughs> Great to be here with you. <laughs> I needed a little break. I had to graduate with some people, help them graduate. I did graduation. <laughs> <laughs> Felt great turning that tassel. Um, it made me, I, I wrote a poem that goes, Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Life. <laughs> Where to go? I'm not going to share the whole thing now. It's embarrassing. I feel bad. <laughs> I'm going to now introduce the, the second of the four legged tripod that is the quarantine social distancing social club. Please give a warm SDSC welcome to Steve Hofstetter. Hello, Whee! everybody. Uh, yeah. Good to be back, even though I never left. I was here yesterday. I got to be Ben yesterday for a little bit. That was fun. That was fun. Um, I watched that last night. You sons of bitches. <laughs> uh we just time wanted to show. give you first time i've seen the show we just want to give you a reason to see the show so i'm it glad really uh, not worth it i don't recommend the show <laughs> <laughs> we don't recommend it normally uh but if you do uh if you do like the show and you want to support it of course you can do that by venmoing us top right of the screen or you can paypal laugh from home Dot com or of course you can super chat we always prefer venmo or paypal because that way youtube doesn't take most of our money uh, and thanks for supporting the show. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chris Bowers. Yes, Bow Wow. What's up, everybody? I'm excited. I'm fired up. It's a Saturday, so I'm ready to have a really fun what? show. Uh, is it on Saturday? Saturday? I think it's Saturday, right? Is it Saturday? I think it's Saturday, right? Yes. Oh, thank God. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's Saturday, so I'm excited. <laughs> it scared me there, because who knows what days and times are really anymore. But it's Saturday, and I'm here, and I'm excited. Uh, Queen Rachel with her brand new internet, her brand new microphone, her brand new AirPods. What is up? Queen Rachel, how are you feeling in the little Queen. land of the... I feel like I'm Abby. killing it. Let's see, though. Let's give it a whole full show, and then we'll see. Yeah. Rachel, can you... Hit, hit, I talk... 
Can you hear better? Stop. <laughs> sure do. Sure do. <laughs> I just got muted by one of you. Don't mute me. <laughs> I was doing a bit. Anyway, uh, Rachel, we're very, we're very excited. I especially love that the tortilla uh, blanket behind you really does look like a green screen until you touch it. Like that is, <laughs> it very it. much looks like a fake thing. Um, but yeah, we're happy to we're happy to have everybody back. Ben, we missed you. Thank you, thank you. How so the how the how the graduation go in the mud? You told us a really little bit good. About it. it ended up being very pretty, and it was nice. Um, I was trying to communicate with somebody whose cell phone kept cutting in and out, but we had two others, and it was beautiful, and it made me wish I was in high school all over again. <laughs> I, in the background. I don't know what's going on there. Is that me? I don't know. It does sound like somebody's running on the plane, though. Or running a fan or something. Uh, yeah, I've spoken to a bunch of high school graduations. They, they're pretty fun. They're pretty cool Pretty cool things to see. You know, it's it's a celebration, and it's the whole town a lot of times, and it's it's pretty cool. I like I like high school graduations a lot. Yeah, it is really nice. And also, someone's trying to enter our video front row that has a total spam-looking name, so I think we may be <laughs> a little scary to me. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. That's Ufe Sushi That's our, one of our biggest supporters. Do you not? <laughs> this feels oddly like on Facebook when you get a message saying, hello, I am a beautiful woman and want to be friends with you and make friends. And make friends with you. Please email me. It's, why am I going to just jump the email? Can we talk here for a minute? <laughs> my, uh, just, my favorite you, you, just don't, ones of those. you just don't email those, Ben. A minute, a, a beautiful woman says she's a beautiful woman. I'm in. I, I, don't, I, don't, need any more, I don't need any more information. I'm jumping on the Let's do it. That's He's the way like, we got the minute, the minute. to host this show, actually, was we called. <laughs> we got to call the show with us, and you were like, I don't know. I'd rather just drink beer at home. And we were like, We're beautiful women. And you're like, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By yeah. the way, my favorite of those Facebook profiles are when they're like, You know, I am beautiful woman, and it's like one picture of a blonde woman and then it says like updated his profile you know, no uh, <laughs> actually, actually my my favorite about that is whenever there's like a clearly a bot woman and you click on her right then she has 11 mutual comic friends you're like really guys really you accepted this you know, oh, yeah like, absolutely <laughs> yeah just just the idea and and half of them have commented like oh so nice to meet you maybe you can make a show sometime <laughs> just, exactly ugh. Yeah, and not only that, but all her all her pictures are like of some other dude. Like it's just it was a dude up until like the moment she decided to trick you into adding her. And I just it's, love it's, how I love how much you guys have studied all of these fake women's profiles and how jealous you feel <laughs> of the other comics that have been interacting with them. That seems <laughs> exactly. Ben, exactly. we get added by fans a lot. It's a weird thing where fans actually want to keep in touch with us. Weird. And That's so weird. sometimes, oh, weird. yeah. See, I don't, I don't have fans, but 30% of my, 30% of my followers are bots, but you know, it's about the numbers, yeah. baby. It's the numbers. I, I've got 1,100 Twitter followers or 600 of them bots. Yeah, of course. But fuck, I don't want to have 500 followers. That'd be way sad. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah, Bowers, Bowers posts something. It gets 300 likes, but every one of the comments is just like, buy these ringtones. You're like, what? Still? Ringtones? Still <laughs> selling ringtones. <laughs> yeah. That's how much phones used to suck as people bought ringtones. That's hilarious. Too. Yeah, that's how like, boring that they were. totally went away. It was snake or ringtones. You're sitting in the bathroom. You're like, I'll buy another ringtone. Now we have so much shit on our phones. We don't need ringtones. I think it's great. Progress is what I'm calling it. Ringbacks were probably the worst thing, though. The the idea that someone's like, you know what? I don't want someone to wait for me for 10 seconds. Maybe they could <laughs> listen to this Green Day song. Wouldn't that make their life better? <laughs> exactly. <Such a> weird <laughs> thing. Hilarious. Uh, we did have an overnight game, guys, last night. It was super fun. Uh, I really liked the overnight game. It was SDSC sex tapes. Uh, so Great it was one. sex tape. Anything about the, the show. I highlighted four I liked. Uh, Ron Gould had... Uh, I'm assuming this is for Rachel's sec tape, will be called Some Generals, Mostly Privates. <laughs> <laughs> Jer Jeremy Day, another Rachel one, had Queen Rachel is tortilla, tortillally, I can't even fucking say it. Tortally unwrapped. There you go. Tortally unwrapped. So you're naked. Uh, By the way, you did pronounce it correctly. That is how Rachel's would be pronounced. I know. I was. I was. Uh, I was in character. Uh, Winklepleck. Yeah. Uh, Jen Winklepleck had uh, Ben Glebe starring in. Wait till you see what I can pull out of my ass. 
<laughs> the way, Queen, Queen Rachel's uh, uh, porn name is Tortilla Tequila. So. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Yeah. Then Kyra, Kyra finally had uh, uh, my sex tape would be called Embrace the Fuck. So <laughs> <laughs> there were some more that I loved too. Jeremy Day also with Queen Rachel in Cunning Linguist, the tongue twister. <laughs> I, I liked I liked another one for Barrel. Shout out two shows in a row. Uh, mine was uh, was Steve Hofstetter's uh, Fuck Mary Kill, a snuff film. So that was, uh, <laughs> that's a pretty funny one. Uh, and I liked a lot Lola's. If you want the tip, you can super chat Venmo or PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> I also loved. Jeremy Day, The Punisher, with Steve Hofstetter featuring Daniel Muggleton in Going Down Under. <laughs> <laughs> and in a great hey, slam he's, against he's my support. <laughs> <laughs> in a great slam against me, Jeremy Day, with Ben Glebe and Watch Me Pull Out Before I Finish, the 2020 presidential campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, oddly enough, I'm doing promotion for that sex tape. <laughs> so. We've sold zero copies. And yeah. <laughs> Adam Meisenheimer with Steve Hofstetter and Jamie Kennedy star in Ginger Man and the Bone Broth. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many good ones. I mean, Jen yeah, Winkle's like great... with Ben Glebe starring in Wait Till You See What I Can Pull Out of My Ass. Yeah, that's what I just yeah, said. That was, that's the one that he read before. Ben doesn't watch the show. Don't watch the show. <laughs> yeah. By the way, Ben, while while you were gone, Taylor started speaking. So no, <laughs> YouTube starring in the pimp takes thirty <laughs> percent. Hilarious. And Taylor, since since Taylor just chimed in, Raz Mindu Razvan with Taylor's sex tape. I'm running things from behind. <laughs> he's never on camera the entire time so but you know, you know he's there um, but you know he's there yeah all right what what's the game today the game today it's really exciting you guys what we're doing is ha, ha, have you heard of actors uh, <laughs> yes i've yes. heard of some actors okay awesome so all you have to know is actors and then you just say actors and then you win is that how it goes Okay. No, no, it's a different game. You know what? Oh. I, I think I know how to explain okay, it. Okay, great. So it's it's rune it's rune an actor with one letter. So the idea is you can take away a letter, you can add a letter, or you can change a letter, but only one letter. And you could do things like Fat Damon. Like that's a that's a decent one. Or uh, Johnny <laughs> Deep, which is his porn name. Uh, <laughs> how about, so how about Tom Tom Yanks, also his porn name? Yeah, Tom yeah. Yanks, that's good. <laughs> or or Mom Cruise. There are so many that you can do. <laughs> Good. Like that, that would ruin him. That would ruin him. Also, you could do it with another actor's name and then changing a different letter. Yeah, that's a great example, yeah. Ben. Like so. Smelly Long. <laughs> Smelly Long would ruin her name, right? Shelly nice. instead of Smelly. Right? Smelly so there Long you go. Dead Dancing. Dead Dancing. <laughs> dead yeah. Dancing, yes. Of that right now. So, <laughs> he's ruined. Yeah, he's ruined because he's dead. I get it. That's good. All right. Yeah. So, well, for I got to cross Dead Norton off my list. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now you guys are really getting the hang of it after my examples like i'm really impressed Great example. <laughs> yes. so as always for five dollar or more of venmo paypal or super chat you can be in the contest send us your entries and we will pick our favorite at the end you will win albums from all of our co our, our co-hosts and also a ticket to the front row for the future so that's our game today we're very excited for that uh queen rachel do we have any super chats coming in right away we do. So um, the Bunster is back. She uh, Bun hey. she tipped the show a hundred dollars and said, "I missed you guys." Bun oh, Bun wow. Wow. You too. I I, oh. I literally Z Bunster. I literally texted Steve this morning. Did I not text you, Steve? Around has Bunster been around for a while? What's we need to reach out, make sure yeah, she's and cool. I was gone? I actually messaged her today also because we just had uh, uh we just announced ten more winners of the Friendly Shoulder Grant. Mm -hmm. One of whom is going to be on the show later. So uh, very cool. we're excited about very that. Very cool. And Bunst is actually one of the biggest supporters of the grant. Um, but everybody who watches the show supports the grant. So we appreciate that. Bunst, we're happy to have you back. That's a fun surprise. Yeah, very excited. Rachel's back. Uh, last one, there was a comment from Ian Rudin in the in YouTube that said, please have best time. Give donation for help need. I am beauty, very woman, happy much. Donate now. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Nicely done. Can I just say she sounds hot? Yeah, can you send me her contact info in the chat? Because I think I need to get her. I need to, to reach out to this beauty this beauty that needs help. That was actually addressed to dearest. So. <laughs> Very cool. We have two amazing comics on our show today. We have two amazing comics. We did have a big, bit of a schedule change. Carmen Morales is not here today, but we've got two amazing comics. Uh, Cor Corey Bell is here. Say hello, Corey. How are oh. you? Uh, I really, really I hate my it. kids. So I really, really hate my kids, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We also have Graham K is here. Graham, how are you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Hello. Uh, Hey, good to good. How do I do this? What am I? I'm um, here. We go. Do I undo this? Am I back? <laughs> oh, yes, I mean, you're back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, internet. <laughs> me, and the, me and the fellas here. That's all. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Thank you for being here. Beautiful two ride. phenomenal, I, I almost said two phenomenal openings, but I don't want to say that right now. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Corey, Corey has five kids, so she she probably hasn't been able to see see that in a while. So I, I have five kids, and I have never seen that. Okay, <laughs> I thought you'd at least see it five times. Have, she did not have five kids from five different men, Steve. That's not how it works. No, that's you not what I said life. at all. <laughs> you don't know me at all, Graham. I didn't said you did it. Oh, guys. I never. I right, right, right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> 20, 2020. So. Four, four of my baby daddies is in the back of your picture right now. <laughs> That's why they're looking at me like that. Like, how did this bitch get here? <laughs> we thought this okay, was a private set. club, damn it. <laughs> yeah. You two are hilarious already. Now I understand what Bowers meant when he said we have two great comedians with us today. I thought he was reintroducing me and Steve, but apparently it's called <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, he very specifically was like, we only have two great comedians, Corey and Graham, and Ben and I are like, hey. <laughs> well, it's really nice to have you guys here. Have you been in that sauna a long time, Graham? I have. I, uh, I'm, I'm just getting all the toxins out. I got. I have. Uh, I got. I keep getting COVID. So I just, you know, <laughs> sweat out the toxins. Yeah, I get that. And that's uh, the bleach. The bleach enema didn't work. Uh, oh. And uh, so you just got to sweat it out. Well, but that's what they say. Like, well, it seems like you're about to get some toxins in as well. So. <laughs> Uh, it better not be from my baby daddy. I know that. Sergey, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Sergey will will impregnate me. He's he's quite potent. He's. Uh, <laughs> it, it actually, it's the safest thing to do is, is to have sex. As long as you don't kiss, you won't get COVID. That's true. That's actually true. So yeah, that's just, yeah. that is actually how I've been saying hello to people. Yeah. So that's yeah. yeah I heard that, and so just on the street. Like when I'm walking my dog and someone wants to say hi, I'm just like, well, we can't, we, we have to have sex. That's the only way to do this. And yeah, and uh, yeah. then you give them a doctor's note. It's great. <laughs> now, 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 now I don't Take want you first. to say hello to the audience, Steve. I was going to have you say hello to the audience, but now I don't want you to. <laughs> it's going to be uh, terrible. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, feel free to then, Bowers. You could do it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a great audience as we always do. Uh, Tam is here. Running Wild is here. Zara is here. Uh, GT is here. Frank Nataro, the uh, host of Street Smarts, is here. Uh, Randy Longmire is here. Jessica Keeble is here, as always. So we've got exciting. Uh, we're excited for you guys to be here. You are the lifeblood of our show. So thanks so much for coming in, guys. Uh, we're about to have a fun time. Rachel, catch us up on some super, ch super chats and let's do a set. <laughs> I think we're, we just have game entries coming in, so we're we're good for now. All right, All right. let's do a set. Let's do a set. So uh, coming now is, as as Steve said, was a winner of the Martin Grant. A very, very funny comedian. Give it a very funny. Corey Bell, everybody. Corey Bell. Whee! Yeah. First of all, I need for you guys to understand exactly how I won this award. And um, it was because I kept getting COVID and I stopped kissing people. Okay, let's just be <laughs> completely real about how all of this shit went. Yeah, that I, I I did. I'm I was so excited to win the grant when I got the e like the the little email like can you chat? I literally had to go and put my hair back on. I, I it was 
crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, you got like Zoom hair. Like, this is my Zoom hair. And like, there's different hair. Like, I got riot hair. Like, if I want to go out and riot hair, I got riot hair. Yeah, yeah. I got looting hair. If I want to like really steal some shit, I just put my hair in my pocket and just take the shit. Um, be identifiable ever. I, I, I had to put this background on. I, I know it looks a little funny. That may look like a limb or something. I don't know. But I had to do the show from my car because, like I told y'all, I hate my children. I, I have five <laughs> children, guys. I have five children. Count them. But do not judge me. Judge your own vagina. Don't judge mine, okay? My, <laughs> five kids means that my vagina is amazing. It's like Disneyland for dicks. It's the most magical place on the face of the country. <laughs> <laughs> and every year just like Disneyland I raise the price to try to keep broke men out of it <laughs> <laughs> every year just like Disneyland some broke dude finds a Groupon and finds his way right the fuck back oh. in the world <laughs> I don't understand how the fuck it keeps happening but the, the disadvantage to having a lot of kids is since this whole COVID quarantine bullshit has started to happen, I, I've become unraveled. I have become unraveled. A kid knocked on my door this morning to tell me, one of my kids knocked on the door to tell me that he, that there was no more milk. And when I opened the door to see which kid it was, I noticed that it wasn't mine. And I had to ask that kid, you know, like, who are you? And he was like, I'm DeAndre. I'm your son's friend from the fifth period biology class and I'm like well what the fuck are you doing here <laughs> well, I came home with your son on the last day of school I said dude that was in March he <laughs> 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 said my mom said I could spend the night I said you did not spend the night you spent the fucking quarantine and I want my goddamn share. <laughs> I don't even know this kid. I threw this motherfucker a birthday party, okay? I don't even know this <laughs> 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 No, so y'all don't understand. I'm becoming unraveled. I had to come outside today and put a bra on. That was different. <laughs> <laughs> and see, y'all don't understand why it's different. It's different for me because I have my my tits are huge. Like they are ridiculously big. Like like I can tuck them in my pockets. Okay, like. <laughs> Yeah, like like big ass bras. Like my bras are so big, my 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 bra straps look like seat belts. Okay, click it a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Like if I'm not wearing my seat belt and the police drives past, I just pull my shirt down. I never get in trouble. Like they always. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I don't have that problem. I don't even hang out with women with small tits. I don't. I don't fuck with them. I can't. Our lives are too different. Any bitch that can buy a bra that hooks in the front, I can't fuck with you. And the, <laughs> <laughs> the back of my bra, my the back of my bra looks like a police vest. It looks like a fucking corset. <laughs> <laughs> You literally have to get into a wrestling stance to put my fucking bra on. Okay? Like, <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to take this bra off now. My five minutes is up. I'm going to get the fuck out of here. But I appreciate each and every one of you guys that <laughs> laugh and giggle with me. Fuck this bra and fuck those kids. <laughs> 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 Corey, Corey Bell, Bell ladies and gentlemen. Corey yeah. Bell. Uh, Great stuff. If, and let me just say, uh, her description of having to put her hair on when she won the grant, absolutely true. <laughs> she messaged yeah. me and she's like, I need a couple minutes. And then she showed up and she had it like all, all like up. And she was like, I thought this was easier. It was hilarious. And uh, <laughs> on a tip. I had on my, I had on my riot hair. That was my looting. <laughs> <laughs> 
If you guys want to uh, want to tip, obviously the tip jar is open. You could tip for Corey or DeAndre. Uh, you could do so uh, <laughs> yeah. right to the screen. Uh, yeah, get get that kid uh, enough money to move out, and get his own place. You know, uh, top right of the screen. You can Venmo. Uh, you can uh, PayPal, laughfromhome.com, or you can super chat, of course. And uh, much appreciated for hilarious. Set. Yeah. <laughs> I think my favorite thing. I think my favorite thing about your set is just like how you said horrible stuff so calmly. You know what I mean? Like just, you have, you have just this demeanor of like, fuck the world. I'm over this shit. Listen, like it's great. I love it. It's real oh, life so shit, Steve. It's real life shit. That's why it's so calm because it's exactly who the fuck I am every goddamn day. I don't like them children. Okay, and somebody got to feed them. So I appreciate every Venmo, PayPal, and follow me on YouTube, Pornhub, OnlyFans. I'm on all that shit. <laughs> that was so funny. I was crying. Corey, it was so damn funny. <laughs> I mean, fuck, fuck this bra, fuck these kids should be a t-shirt for sure. If you don't have that as a t-shirt, <laughs> this bra and fuck these kids, is, I would, you'd sell a million of those. I, I don't think you should put fuck these kids on a t-shirt. Frankly, right. that might be a separate thing. <laughs> you know, you right, you'd have to put the right you'd have to put their clear. individual names, their individual names on the shirt. So, so fuck <laughs> these kids specifically. No, well, no. Well, we don't want it to be an action. Is the problem? We don't want people to actually try to fuck these kids. Is what I'm saying. You can't. <laughs> also, yeah, yeah. Power, that's also kids. how you make more kids, which is yeah. the problem. You have to not. You can't get Disregard. kids to the kids. <laughs> How about a shirt that just says "fuck this bra"? I'd buy that too, you know, because I, <laughs> I also don't like, don't like bras. Bras are uncomfortable. I do get a snap mine in the front because I'm a dude, but like it's still. <laughs> so I, uh, you're saying. Uh, all right. I mean, I wish I wish Graham had a bra on right now, but other than that, I think everything's going great. Yeah. <laughs> I take his shirt off and have a sweater under it. How the fuck did you pull that? <laughs> this is my body. Uh, was assigned this body. Okay. Damn. I, mean, I can't, I, you know. I'm not the only person wondering that. All of the dudes behind you are wondering how you. <laughs> <laughs> they may be wondering. They may be wondering, but they they want they want it. They want it. They want a pick up. Rachel, what do we? Rachel, what do we have coming in? Yes, we've got some tips coming in, but I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got Tyler Stevens tipped uh, Corey five dollars and said, "Great set." Thanks, we've got, Tyler. We've got uh, Tam uh, five dollars uh, from one member of the Tiggle Bitty Club to the other. Hilarious. <laughs> nice. And Ra Rachel, you gotta go. I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys are you guys can't vote her out she's the queen she's a dictator she can't. Itty bitty titties. Her bra. what'd you say Corey? what size is her bra we can vote her ass out <laughs> the higher up in the alphabet our bra sizes go <laughs> It's uh, it's small enough where I can have that front clip. <laughs> oh yeah, no. And I thought we were gonna be friends. Oh, go to hell. <laughs> well, good thing is Bowers gets to stay. So yeah. Well, in fairness, in fairness, my boxer shorts clip in the front too, because I have small. It doesn't matter. I. Uh... <laughs> Soft confessions. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Rachel, what else we got? We have um, uh, Dave Adler, $5. Corey, to go towards a new pocket bra, trademarked by To the Rescue. Nice. <laughs> We've got Razor, $7. Uh, for Corey, for one month of Disney Plus, hopefully that'll shut him up. <laughs> oh, nice. Thanks, man. <laughs> 
We have uh, Zara uh, in our live audience, 40 Aussie. Corey, that was incredibly hilarious. Here's a uh, top up on behalf of your fellow members of the not so itty bitty titty city committee. Nailed it. <laughs> <Yeah. Ross. laughs> uh, we have a few more coming in. Jessica in our live audience, $25. I hate my kids right now, too. How many you got, Jessica? I'm sorry. How many do you have? How many kids do I have? Uh, yes. I have four living. The... <laughs> oh, shit. There's, oh, there's, that was there's three of them living here right now. And and a son-in-law, a boyfriend-in-law. And I'm ready to kill them all. Oh, yeah, by the way, Corey, that wasn't that wasn't dark of her saying like my kids have died. That was her dark of saying my kids are about to die. Like that was. Yeah, because somebody. Else I'm not gonna lie. I was about to give that money back. <laughs> All right, um, we have uh, Dana Z Bunster, twenty five dollars. Corey is someone who also wrestles with their bras. I adore you. My girl, I'm telling you, fuck these bras. By the way, <laughs> I I just learned something about our demographic. I had no idea, but okay, cool. <laughs> I know, Steve. Steve, I, 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 I only look in their eyes. I only look in their eyes. I didn't know they even had boobs. <laughs> well, yeah, well, that's because they're wearing masks. You can't otherwise. But <laughs> y'all got to understand that that carrying these things around. I go into Victoria's Secret and fuck them up. Like they like no! <laughs> It's like it, it, you walk in and the water on his desk shakes like Jurassic Park. Like yes. oh, <laughs> <what's going on." laughs> Hey Chris, Chris Dallas, I walk in with my eyes like this and go, What do you have in a 48? And red like this off. <laughs> Like it's not enough. They can't sew enough bras together. I just start knocking shit off the rack. Get these little bras out of here. Just, just buy two of them and just be like, can you affix these together? Can you make right. one out of these? Yeah. I've, uh, I've seen hats smaller than my bra cup. Okay. I've seen hats. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Rachel, what else we got? We have. Um, Randy Longmire in our uh, live audience, ten dollars for Corey. Hilarious set. Thanks, Ran. Then we have Dini, uh, ten Canadian. Corey, I loved your set. And I love you, Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> I even like clearly Canadian. I like that too. I drink that. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they really make that there. No. Okay. Fuck it. <laughs> they probably do. Steve. Steve. Steve's got his hat cups on. I like that, Steve. Um, I, got, I, I decided to put my bra on. Because uh, the <laughs> they're because they're Mets hats. Does that mean you want us to suck your tits? That's weird. <laughs> no, they suck themselves. Hey. <laughs> 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 By the way, I love, I don't know who it was, but when I held these up, I just heard someone go, oh. <laughs> you know, Steve, the funny thing about that sound is that is the same sound most guys give when the, a chick with no tits take their bra off. It's like, oh. <laughs> 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 I think that sound happened just because they were excited that they were like, oh, is there a bra on the... Oh, no, it's just Steve. I think it's yeah. like, <laughs> it's a disappointment. Like, it's like opening a birthday card with no money in it. Like, you want it. <laughs> You're like, this thought doesn't count nearly as much as $10 would have. Yeah. <laughs> this thought counts, but to zero. Uh, sorry, Rachel, go ahead. <laughs> All right, we've got um, Tasha, five dollars uh, for free titties. <laughs> we have uh, the game developer, five pounds. I have man titties, and I'm not afraid to flash them. You guys are awesome. <laughs> I'm, starting some, I'm starting a movement here, y'all. Y'all better get together. Look, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not much of a breast man, but they're growing on me. <laughs> I 
damn it, Ben. All right, we've got um, uh, Molly, uh, ten dollars for Corey, the wrestling stance. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> 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 And then Chris Jacobs, 10 Canadian, tip for Corey. Awesome set. Thanks, babe. Um, the the knitting mitt, uh, $5, and said, I once had a, had a friend find a bra and exclaim, oh, my God, your bra fits on my head. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be amazed at how many men will take my bra just to put it on their head when I go to the on, on their head when I go to the bathroom. I always catch them when I come back out. <laughs> <laughs> like half the time she doesn't even need to pee. She just leaves to see yeah. if they'll do it. <laughs> That's it. Like I'm just gonna go to the bathroom for a second and I'm just gonna leave this bra casually on this table. Right yeah, here. Wanna, hey, men yeah. do a big bra is like a cat in a box. We can't just we just gotta jump in there and see what's going on. That's just how it works. It's not our fault. <laughs> Genetically predisposed to jump in that. Every guy just in a bra, just going like this <laughs> frantically. <just. laughs> yes. That hurt more than I wanted it to. Go ahead. <laughs> <Save>. <laughs> Uh, actually, you know what we have? What? We've got a general coming in. <laughs> general hat! <laughs> uh, that hat is, that, that is revolutionary. <laughs> uh, so, our general is from Zara. And she said, five Aussie, she said, big up to Bowers for being able to detect cup size through the internet. <laughs> 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 and with that, I bid you adieu. By the way, uh, I enjoy that two of the four of us have now cosplayed as president. <laughs> oh, oh, that was me. I was like, do I? I don't know if I should, but I have to. The rule of comedy is I have to. The part where I just be quiet. I just, I just sit back and watch this part. You got to go. <laughs> Out. This, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm really sorry. I knew who mean it was when I said it. It's my fault. I was a bad press secretary. And please accept my fault. Oh, it's totally yeah. fine. I, I get the joke. I do a Trump impression a lot, and I wear the wig. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely. You know what you just did? You just hunt for Red october me. That's what you did. You just, you just turned into the torpedo. You just before it had a chance to arm. That's what you just did. If we turn into the torpedo, perhaps we will confuse Hofstetter. <laughs> I'm the captain now, dog. <laughs> oh, that's still one of my favorite moments on the show. <laughs> Oh Rachel, did we catch up? We caught up. I uh, particularly enjoy all of the inside jokes we have. When uh, Taylor cut to the big screen when I put on the general hat, Graham was just sitting there like this. <laughs> it's fine. A lot of people are confused. A lot of people are confused. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. Fine. He cosplays as the greatest president to ever live. Okay. <laughs> By the way, Graham, this show is about 70% inside jokes and then 30% just inside. They're just attempts at jokes. But it's okay. still all. <laughs> I'm from Canada, so I was worried that I just didn't understand your dialect. I. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> sort of a uh, <laughs> American thing or I'm an immigrant I don't know that's okay that's okay we love Canada we love Canada we use Canada mugs we love Canada okay here's the thing about Canada okay uh, a lot of softies okay a lot of softies your prime minister 
was a drama teacher, okay? And there's no drama in this mama. You understand? Do you understand? <laughs> a lot of people. No, think, I don't. You don't, I don't get, get it? I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people, Yeah. I feel like you should get heartburn or like diarrhea after you're done with those impersonations of Trump. Like there should be instant bad karma straight to you. After <laughs> <laughs> you should have the shits immediately. Thank you for saying That's okay. Even when I get heartburn or diarrhea, Melania is there to take care of me. People say we're not close, but every night she's inside of me. So how do you explain it? <laughs> oh, God. It's like every night she comes up from her room to say goodnight to me. <laughs> no room for two of us in the same room. Okay. <laughs> so, does Melania? Do you did you just say that Melania pegs you every night? Is that That's what you correct. <laughs> I just want to know pegs, what's going on. Yeah, she fucks me in the ass every night. Let me make that clear. Don't use the term peg. Okay. Y'all. I don't know what's wrong with y'all, but I'm happy to have met all of you sick son of a bitches. I cannot wait to see all my friends. <laughs> Who the fuck friends with now? Corey, I think it's I think it's pretty cool that you just read the mission statement of the show to us. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is what we do. Um, <laughs> let's, let's have another comedian. How about we do that? Yes. Can we do that? We have another stand up. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Coming next. Oh my god. You've seen him on Colbert. You've heard him on Sirius XM Radio. It was very funny. Graham K, everybody. Graham K. Woo! Thank you. Thank you for uh, having me. I, I have, I'm actually, the reason why I'm not wearing a shirt, honestly, is because the, my apartment is very hot. I'm in New York and uh, I have a skylight and I rented this apartment in the winter and I was like, skylight will be great. And now I just live in a greenhouse. I'm on the top. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hot. I was going to buy an, an air conditioner, uh, but all the stores are closed. So I just, I, it's just hot. It's like 95 degrees in here. And the heat was on. The heat was also on until last week. And I called the super. I was like, you got your off heat. I'm going to die. And then he, wa- he came in and he, tur- and, and, and he like looked around and, and, uh, and the, he, he turned off the heat. Um, but, uh, I had a bunch of, I was like filming something else and I had a bunch of wigs lying. I, I didn't realize that a bunch of wigs lying around <laughs> and, he just, and then he left and I was like, we both just saw the wigs and we both just didn't say a goddamn word. I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> Heat is on. anyway but that's that's honestly why i'm not wearing a a shirt like i'm just like i can't it's just too hot in here um why i live uh i live in in uh, in brooklyn it's fun it's good i uh, i'm originally from canada and i just moved to i just moved to america full time and um and i've i've uh, been reading your news lately um and i think we can all agree that i've made a huge mistake (laughs) <laughs> what the hell uh just in time just in time for a uh poorly managed uh pandemic race riot and uh and uh that's exciting it's exciting um i i actually did i i joined a protest today and um because you know i'm i'm an immigrant uh, so, you know, I, I only say it to let any visible minorities, uh, know that, you know, same these, um, <laughs> same exact issues that I assume, um, and it's hard for us. Um, but I did, I did, I did join a protest today and I do like all jokes aside. I do, I do. I'm, I'm like down with that, but I, um, peacefully, but I, and I, and I've noticed that there's like no protests in LA. There's like, you don't hear about it. You hear about them in like Atlanta or whatever. Uh, but like you don't hear about in LA, and I realize it's because it's there's like no parking. I think that's the only reason. <laughs> it's like people are like I could fight injustice, but 
I, the signs are too confusing. I'll just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I lived in L.A. for a bit and I honestly had to leave because I couldn't afford it. Uh, I, I, I got a 75. Well, I got this is true. I got three seventy five dollar parking tickets in a, a 24 hour span. And I was like, you win. Bye bye, L.A. Good night. Hello. And I just <laughs> moved, back, moved to New York. I was like, I can't. Um, but anyway. I, uh, I'm actually doing this on my phone, so I can't see everybody. I'm doing it on my phone because I spilt water on my computer. Oof. And yeah, in the middle of a pandemic, I spill water on my computer. It's completely ruined. And spilling water on your laptop um, in the middle of a global pandemic is sort of like being in a lifeboat in the middle of the ocean and then taking your last flare and then shooting it into your penis. <laughs> <laughs> into your penis. Just like, there's a good spot, Mark. This is helpful. <laughs> Bang. So, but this is great. Everything's going to be fine. Um, it's fucking brutal. Uh, I'm single. I, I live in a studio apartment, which is great. Um, it's a good time for a pandemic to be alone. Uh, I, and if anyone else is single out there, uh, and, and, and is like me and lives alone and is uh, equally uh, as sad that the Olympics were canceled because uh, I, I don't know if you guys were, but uh, I was hoping to, uh, to compete in the pube Olympics. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, that's right. Pube Olympics. Um, I wrote, I wrote that, I wrote I wrote that joke to get into Mensa and uh, <laughs> have not heard back. <laughs> I'm out of work. I'm a comedian. I'm out of work. Don't know when I'm going to be back to work. Don't know when I'm going to make money again. Um, and I'm just out of work, you know, and I just, I, I'm, as a comedian, I'm, I just was wondering, I was like, I wonder, like, I wonder if Louis C.K. made this much pasta when he was out of work for a bit, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> just saying, you know? Um, I don't know if anyone else lives in, uh, lives in an apartment building, but uh, this is, I, 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 sure, I sure have been washing my keys a lot more this week, this year. Uh, I don't know if you've also been washing your keys a lot more in 2020. Um, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I have a, I have an iPhone cause I, uh, I'm rich. I make a lot of money and so I have an iPhone yeah. and, um, and sometimes, sometimes you encounter a friend who has uh, an Android and normally it doesn't matter. You know, they, you text them and then you get back that, uh, that, uh, that Ninja Turtles ooze green and you're like, Ooh, okay, well. Um, you know, I'll, I'll pay for drinks next time, I guess. But, uh, <laughs> but now, like now in a pandemic, you, what you do is you like, we're FaceTiming a lot, right? You can't really zoom your friends like one-on-one. -on -one. That's insane. So you like, we're FaceTiming, but then every once in a while you get like an Android friend like, Hey, can you, uh, can we, uh, do Google Hangouts? You get on Google Hangouts and I'm like, <laughs> Google Hangouts is the new come to my apartment in New Jersey. You know, <laughs> <laughs> where do, I, where do I get there? Do I, where do I go? I do love the Zoom. Hang I like the Zoom comedy shows. I like the Zoom hangs, the Zoom like happy hour. You know, it's it's okay. It's People are like, well, you know, what what is what is a Zoom comedy show like? And I'm like, why do you do them? I'm like, a Zoom comedy show. You know, it's it, you know what it's like. It's uh, it's 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 not the best. It, you know what it's it's like a a veggie burger. It's just a veggie burger. You know, it's fine. It's good. You know, it's 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 way better than dying. So I appreciate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I genuinely need this and I, I don't know what I would do I would die I would die so I appreciate it um, 
this isn't a joke, uh, but uh, I, I, uh, I washed an egg carton today. Um, okay, good. I, that's about as good as I thought it was going to do. Um, <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm not a smart man. Um, <laughs> I, I, uh, I went, I'm, uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm like, things are starting to loosen up quarantine wise. So, uh, why well, I'm starting to date again, you know, I was like, maybe I'll get out there. I can accomplish that. Maybe, maybe we'll do some like zoom hangs or, or you know, or, and I'll get, I'll get a girlfriend or something. That might be a good project to work on. And, uh, <laughs> and then I was on hinge. I'm on hinge and hinge is like, you know, uh, you can actually do some social distancing, um, dates in public places. That's what hinge, the dating app is suggesting, uh, which basically means hinge, is trying to tell me to lure women into parks. <laughs> <laughs> and now, I'm back to that old game again. Uh, <laughs> uh, Canada for a reason. Uh, <laughs> good man, good man. These are jokes. These are jokes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna end on that. Uh, you guys are a really nice uh, group of people, and I appreciate you uh, tuning in. Thank you. Great job, everybody! Great job! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Also, a Zoom show has even more in common with a veggie burger because if you get a vegan around one, they're extremely annoying. So uh, <laughs> that said. <laughs> I'm kidding. Love our vegan big breasted fans. Um, so... <laughs> I didn't know that was our demographic. I had no idea that was our demographic. Uh, the tip jar is open. Uh, if you want to tip, if you want to tip Graham K, you could do so. Venmo, top right of the screen, PayPal, laughfromhome.com, or you could super chat on YouTube. And by the way, um, so I met Graham. We were both uh, competitors in the Seattle International Comedy Competition. And uh, it was one of those things where like the comics in there are like 32 comics in each one. And the uh, actual comics tend to gravitate toward each other. And so uh, Graham was one of the people who said that I was like, if I lost to someone, I would be totally cool if it was Graham. And there were other people. Uh, in the thanks, festival, buddy. But I, yeah, absolutely. I mean, neither of us won. Let's be realistic. But no. Uh, <laughs> no. But we. I remember but the I, days of either one of us kind of. No, Zolt, Zoltan won that year. Zoltan's super me. funny. Yes. Yeah, Zolt I finished. I finished second, and I lost by the lowest amount in 32 years. Yeah. Um, and I, 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 I think about it every night before I go to bed. But that's. Yeah, <laughs> I actually, I didn't make the, I didn't make the finals by one point on one judge's score sheet um, when we did a show in uh, Snoqualmie and that casino, that was one where like we sat down. Cause I remember we ate before the show, we went to the buffet in the casino and they were serving uh, ham fried rice. And uh, <laughs> one of the, one of the guys, what? This great. This wait, some what? Holy <laughs> what? Fried rice. Okay, Bowers is really excited about this, but Holy other people know that's shit, wrong. This sounds awesome. Where was this? The second, Terrible. the second I saw that they had ham fried rice, I was like, I'm not gonna do well with this crowd. I don't think that this is my crowd. That'll, at all. that'll put hair on your tits, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> You did, you did the most comic thing I've ever heard where you started a joke by going, this isn't funny. And then when it didn't work, you went, I guess that didn't work. You said it wasn't a joke before you started. <laughs> so, so hilarious to then admonish yourself for not being funny after you told us it wasn't a joke. I'm like, you can't <laughs> fail. You can't fail if you don't try. I think Michael Jordan said that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You make 100% uh, of the shots, you don't shoot. I think that's what yeah. they say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rachel, what do we got coming in? Yep, so we have some tips coming in. We have, let's go to the top. Um, oh, God, this is humiliating. <laughs> this is this is not humiliating. This is where people give you money for comedy. This is... No, I like it, but I'm also, like, nervous and, and also kind of sorry. 
uh, anyway. No, they're very, they're very supportive. And also they look, I just counted up the tips myself. You got like $13. It's great. It did really good. <laughs> It's fine. Canadian. Wait, no, it's sorry, 13 Canadian. It's, it's 13 just, Canadian, just, but it's 13. Just so yeah. you know, just so you know, my my brother has MS and I'm his only family member. So that's <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys. All the, make all the fun of can Canadian money uh, you want, I'm so, but you I'm, know. I'm so sorry he's pretty this is shaky. Awkward. He's pretty shaky. I meant to give the tip of thirteen dollars to Corey. Can I undo it? <laughs> <laughs> That yeah. is some <laughs> bullshit, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that. My kids. Fuck my kids, yeah. huh, Graham? That's terrible. <laughs> yeah. Corey needs tips for her five and a half kids. Because DeAndre doesn't tips for this completely count. Tips for expensive-ass bra I got to buy. <laughs> they could eat for days uh, suckling on those tits. I got nothing. <laughs> you could keep them warm, Graham. I <laughs> good. That's true. That's good. No, you're right. <laughs> All right. What do we got, Rachel? Uh, uh, razor. <laughs> razor tipped uh, Graham $5. I want to shave you like one of my French girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'll accept the five dollars for that. Uh, we've got. Um... I had a. I once dated a. I. I. I once. I lived in. Anyway, I dated a Hungarian girl, and she. She was like. Uh, I mean, she was a woman. Whatever. But she. She was like. She. 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 I was too hairy for her, and she called my armpits the two dogs. She's like, you, oh like you must shave the two dogs and i and so i shaved everything i shaved my armpits everything it was like they don't understand if you're if you shave and you don't have a lot of hair it doesn't hurt when it comes back when you shave it and you have a lot of hair you just turn into a giant zit i was just like hello how's that you like that and uh well we we we, we no longer date so it's fine <laughs> we suffer for it. We suffer because y'all no longer date. Ain't that a big? Grandma down here like this is a fair. How do you, wait, how do you it's suffer? Hair. This is a going gift. anywhere. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we told the comics that like sometimes we roast each other and the two comics are like, great, we will roast each other and no one else. We'll just. <laughs> it is quite a battle royal L. I am, I am fine with, with that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no problem with that at all. Uh, Rachel, what else do we got? All right, so we have Graham Thomas, $10. Great set. Treat yourself to a new egg box. Thank you, nice. fellow Graham. I appreciate it. Graham, stick together. <laughs> Always uh, yeah. Dana, twenty-five dollars. Graham, yep, you're Canadian. Keep that Canadian sense of humor. All right, thanks, nice. Dana. I appreciate it. I'll take it, Dana. <laughs> uh, yeah. We have uh, Amanda, ten dollars. I'm a big boobed vegan, and I'm a fan. <laughs> big. I didn't know vegans could could have big boobs. That's amazing. <laughs> By the way, uh, big boob vegans playing at the Roxy next week. Show. That's actually my stage name, guys. <laughs> There's no way those titties are vegan. There's no way. <laughs> that is meat. That is meat. I'm meat. <laughs> beautiful meat. It's beautiful meat. That's for the ham fried rice, okay? Molly, $5 for Graham, great set. Thanks, Molly. Tyler, uh, Stevens, $5 for Graham. We've got Tesha, $5. I have a friend who is too polite to ask, but tip to manscape a penis on her chest. <laughs> <laughs> good tip. Good tip. It can only go up. What? <laughs> um. Uh, Chris J. 
Jacobs, 10 Canadian for Graham. Uh, well done. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Why do you want to put Graham? That seems really weird. Nice, <laughs> <laughs> Graham. Well done. That's not appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dave Adler, five dollars. Graham, bringing your computer into a sauna will always get it wet. I hope your iPhone doesn't meet the same fate. Good luck. <laughs> That's a good. You know, a Russian guy just poured a bunch of water on my computer. <laughs> what the hell? This is where I work. <laughs> All the coffee shops are. <laughs> you gotta, you got the heat. Our president, he's a smart man, and he said the heat kills coronavirus. So I, the only place I could work, all the coffee shops are closed. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have that lane boy, five pounds. Graham, I loved your set. Get yourself a drink, but be careful of your electronics. <laughs> nice. Well, thank you. <coughs> nice, people. nice people. Nice people. Uh, Zara in our live audience, 20 Aussie, Graham, great scent, but I don't know how we didn't expect how you didn't expect to get water in your laptop when you're in a sauna. I have to ask though, is the sauna for members only? We missed you, Ben. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> is members only on, on, on Saturday nights? Uh, <laughs> and you only 50%, the members it's, it's, it's not, it's, only 50% of the popu human population can get in. But other than that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> We've got uh, the Taminator, $5. Uh, Mensa's loss is our gain. Way better than a vegetable. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> got jess and our live audience 25 dollars. thank you so much i remember the days of no ac glad it's you and not me oh, <laughs> i'm gonna buy another fan i'm gonna buy another fan with that money and i appreciate that thank you i remember the days of lots of wigs on the floor and let me just say i'm still there <laughs> We have, so I wanted to give uh, some shout out to a couple Facebook people that were donating, Emily Junkins uh, and Tyler Casey. And then we had a couple non-comic super chats come in. It was Sage. <laughs> oh, Generals. She meant Generals, everybody. I, I got it. I meant Generals. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know if you guys remembered, there was a corny proposal story, which we all were deciding on whether this guy should do it that way or not. And update, he did it. And he said, uh, he super chatted five bucks and said, update on my corny proposal. She said, yes. Oh, yay. Yay. Nice work, dude. Congratulations. That does not mean it wasn't corny. <laughs> that does not mean <laughs> that does not mean she said yes to Mary. She probably said yes. This shit is corny. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up already. Stand up. Get off your knee. This is a Zales. This is embarrassing. <laughs> uh, we've got Laura. It's ten dollars because Steve always cracks me up. Oh yeah, nice. Laura. Thank you much. Thank you so much. Zara, five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zara says five dollars. I have the world's tiniest violin for dudes complaining about shaving. <laughs> By the way, that teeny violin is from the Ben Glebe prop collection. Uh, <laughs> an incredible prop! Oh my god, I give you props for the props. Yeah. Well got a case oh and god. everything. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, that's amazing. Do you have, do you have a, a tiny Tommy gun that fits in there too when you're pissed off? Is there one of those? <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, Rachel, what else we got? We've got uh, last one. Uh, Kyle Riley super chat at $10 and said number one fan. And then we had a last minute tip uh. for Corey come in. Jenna, $20 for the mother of five. Buy those kids some pizza and get a couple minutes of peace. Goddamn nice. right, Absolutely. and by peace, she means masturbation, and I'm going there you for go. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Should I? That's where my peace lies. Should I take a screen grab for you later, or? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 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 maybe, 
that's for you. <laughs> comedian yeah. destroys comedian sex drive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just when you pan the camera down there, no joke, my computer said your internet is unstable. And I was like, thank God. <laughs> There's too much heat. There's too much heat coming through there. Yeah. Intentionally <laughs> pulled water on my computer right then. Wait, Ben, am I just imagining it or is your hair oh, growing water. throughout this episode? Is my hair growing? I don't know what you mean. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. Uh, Are we well, caught up, Rach? Are we ready for the game? the game? Yeah. We're ready for the game. All right, so again, the game is ruin an actor with one letter. So you add, subtract, or change one letter to ruin an actor. Comics, we're going to do a couple unpaid ones, and then after she says these are the paid ones, you're going to vote for those. So, so kind of make note of your favorite ones. Here we go. So it looks like Randy has his hand up. Randy, do you want to give one on camera? Oh, I thought we were doing the comics first. Sorry. <laughs> um, oh, there's a wig here. Um, <laughs> of a tribute to Graham and to Ben. Um, <laughs> be Randy, I need my wig back when you go. <laughs> uh, the only one I have is uh, Dwayne the Sock Johnson. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I like that one. Uh, uh, Zara, does anybody else want to be on camera? GT, anybody? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I thought of uh, Arson Wells. <laughs> Arson <laughs> Wells, <laughs> nice. See in one letter. <laughs> nice. nice. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> anybody else? Okay. All right. All right. So these are the unpaid ones that I really liked. So starting off with Ron Gould, Tom Bruise. Nice. <laughs> All right. Um, I liked a couple of Ron Gould. Uh, Ron Gould also had Greg Poops. <laughs> uh, hey, everybody, Greg Poops. <laughs> um, Greg Murphy, Petty White. <laughs> Petty White. <laughs> and then there was two more that I liked: uh, Chris Jacobs, William Shitner. <laughs> <Yeah>. I have to poop. I got to take a And then the knitting uh, captain's <laughs> log. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that made it worth it. That. <laughs> Uh, 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 yes. <laughs> the disdain in going... Rachel's face right now. I what I love about this, Rachel got a new camera so we could see her disapproval better in high red. <laughs> I literally can't believe I'm going straight from this. To saving a graduation in 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Neither can we, Ben. Neither can we, yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, the, the last unpaid I liked was uh, the knitting mitt Brad Zitt. Nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so like these it. are the ones that are paid and that we vote on. Starting off, uh -huh. Elizabeth Ann has two of them. She paid for two entries. <laughs> Emma Twatson. <laughs> and Rupert V. Gint. Rupert V. Grint. Wait, Rupert Grint? That's... Rupert V. Grint. Guys, okay. let's uh, guys let's, let's 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 bring the show to a complete halt and think about it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know what letter was changed. Australian. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah that's, that's why right. I was trying to figure out what was changed. <laughs> Uh, How about we don't and say that we did? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We've got uh, Tesha's was uh, Sandra Bullcock. <laughs> <laughs> I like it a lot. Uh, Razor, uh, first he put Queef Rachel. Do you act? Okay, wait. Queef Latifah. Queef Latifah. <laughs> 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 Latif. <laughs> Queef. Oh, uh, you gotta let them know. All right, Sarah, your turn. Jeremy Day had Nicholas Rage. <laughs> nice. 
And then we had Jeremy Day, uh, very old man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is a somehow still a pun. How do you do that? Jesus Christ. That's impressive. <laughs> uh, Good. Jeremy Day, Humphrey Yogurt. <laughs> 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 I mean that one. I, that just just know there was literally a chain of yogurt places for years called Humphrey Yogurt. Just so you know. <laughs> Is that true? Mm. Oh yeah, that? that's true. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, Nay Hutch, uh, Gary Pussy. <clears throat> Or is that a Amin Salah, Moan Rivers. <laughs> Moan Rivers. <laughs> yeah. Use an old fist doc. <laughs> uh, Roz, on behalf of Jeremy Day, Tom Wanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tyler Steven also had Nicholas Rage. Nice. Uh, Amin Sala on behalf of Shelly, Winona, ride her. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, half of these are porn names, and the other half are like what Mad Magazine would call someone in the spoof. Like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and the last one I have is from Z Bunster for, on behalf of Raz. Uh, it's Robert Downer Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Downer Jr. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, nice, Ben. I believed you anyway. But there how you did that go out of business? That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So those are the paid entries. Uh, comics. Who'd you like? Uh, Graham. Who was your? What was your favorite one? Uh, Gary Oldman. You're so silly. All right. Very old man. All right. Awesome. Oh, very old man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Um. My, I like them all. They're all dumb. Um, <laughs> um, Petty White is is my homegirl, so I like that one because that's who I would be when I get old. I'm gonna be a petty bitch, so Petty White will be my new name. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Rachel, I liked Queef Latifa. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm also going Queef Latifa. That was very funny. I liked Emma Twatson, but Queef Latifa was my favorite. <laughs> I like Emma uh, Watson, but my vote goes to Sandra Bullcock. <laughs> there were so many good ones here. Uh, I mean, so far, Queef Latifah is the only one with two votes. Um, but uh, I would say I'm going to vote for one that nobody voted for yet, which was Emma Watson. That was my favorite one. So, All right. Uh, looks like Queef Latifah is the winner. Yeah. Uh, that is the sound of victory. Okay. So <laughs> if you guys want to uh if you want so whoever that was, we're gonna claim your prize. Uh you can do that by going by going to uh laughfromhome.com. And uh also Elizabeth Ann just said that her it was Ruperv Grint. That's why. Oh. <laughs> oh, I still don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think uh, that's a a celebrity from this side of the ocean. Yeah, I don't think so. He, he, that's that's uh, that's Ron Weasley in Harry Potter. Oh, uh, uh, we didn't get it because we're not, not nerds. A, I'm not a virgin. It's a, it's a, it's, it. it's, no, you know what? It was a small. It was a small. <laughs> It's a small indie film. I get why you wouldn't know. Yeah. It's a very small Graham, indie film. No, no. Graham doesn't uh, get you know it I, because you know he's I not a virgin, that but he did get it before he went in that sauna. <laughs> <laughs> now I really don't get it. That's right. <laughs> he doesn't get it 20 I, times. I, I, no, I'm, like, I'm looking at the people behind you. You're about to get it, sir. It's <laughs> time to get it. <laughs> All right. Uh, do any of the comics this guy, have any this entries guy, that they right. want to that they want to put in? <laughs> God, this guy, this guy, this guy's a real problem. He's been looking at me. <laughs> how, about, how about don't try and slowly finger those guys, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 <laughs> that's great. Former grab presidential grab candidate. Okay. All right. Yeah. Do any of the comics you have are. entries you would like to? Any 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 ruin a celebrity entries you'd like to do? Ruin an actor. I wanted to ruin Dick Wolf, but who can top that? <laughs> <laughs> I 
just trying to find up. a way. There's no way to do it. I know. <laughs> I know how to do it. Thanks. Wolf dick. <laughs> <laughs> Graham, it's not mine because it's Harry. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, Graham, we don't need to know your nickname. We're trying to play a fucking game. Here. <laughs> yeah. Always that's all about you. Ladies. That's the way that you love Dick Wolf's name in school. Wolf Dick. Wolf <laughs> Dick. <laughs> I cannot be the only person that watches uh, Law and Order, and every time that comes on, you giggle just a little bit. <laughs> the reason, he's so, it's the reason <laughs> he's so successful. It's the reason he's so successful. He spent his life being named Dick Wolf, and he was like, one day I'm going to make 17 TV shows of all the same thing. Like that's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, he definitely did a lot better than he did a lot better than his younger brother Penis Fox, who never really made it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. By the way, Zara just commented in the chat that oh, wolf God. dicks aren't hairy, so of course she would know that. <laughs> and she's a she zoologist. The name Zara, you are a winner. Zara said, "Lick wolf," and I like it. <laughs> Taylor, Taylor's. Yeah. We gotta give that. We gotta give Taylor, that to yeah. credit. We gotta give Taylor. 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 Yeah. Taylor. Yeah, but yeah. Not Harry. Not Harry. Just skinny mm, and bulbous. Yeah. yeah. By the way, skinny and bulbous. I'm uh, playing with Roxy next week, so you want to catch that? They're actually opening for Wolf Dick. It's actually a really yeah. fun. Yeah. <laughs> Wolf Dick is a great name for a band. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Please start every song. <laughs> what was the name of the purple purple animal, purple dinosaur that Fred Flintstone Barney. wrote on, on the Flintstones? Oh. Pluto, right? Dino. Dino, right. Dino, yes. Dino. Right. He said Pluto. Right. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know fucking so? Well, I love I love the uh, the uh, flip flop there in your in your positioning, Corey. I have no soul because I don't remember the name of the animal that your kids, who you fucking hate, love. Yeah. <laughs> That's because I love Dino more than I love them fucking kids. So how dare you? By the way, the comments in the, in the comments, GT just said anybody bought Wolf Dick's latest 12 inch release. <laughs> it reminded me of uh, one of my favorite Dennis Miller live jokes. He goes, Over the weekend, uh, porno got accidentally put in instead of an episode of The Flintstones. Viewers reported that Dino looked even more purple and bulbous than usual. <laughs> 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 Did you ask us uh, that question to do that bit? That's hilarious. Nice work. <laughs> I mean, you can't just throw in a, a, a Dennis Miller joke anywhere with people enjoying it. You have to, yeah, you have to find a way to make it good. Um, so, uh, or at uh, least tell me you love me first. At least tell me I'm pretty first. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, so, all right. Uh, do we, uh, Ben? Did you have any that you wanted to do? I sadly do. <laughs> mine first, or or do you have a bunch? I'll do mine first. If you have, a I've bunch. got a bunch. Yep. All right, I'll do mine first. Uh, so uh, I've got a Harrison Fork. <laughs> uh bruce willie which might be his porn name um i have uh christian bald <laughs> nice um uh michael kaint <laughs> uh, i've got uh uh flint eastwood that's where it's like he's still in the westerns but he's like i'm gonna fill you full of lead uh, so it's like <laughs> you set it up with that. He, it up. Up. he was he was, he was in like the the, uh, the Revolutionary War. He was like not in westerns, but in the Revolutionary War. Blaine Blaine Eastwood. You see, that was okay. now now it's my... a really good joke. Really good. Joke. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
Graham, I appreciate you saving that joke. Thank you very Thank much. You. And, uh, the last one I have is uh, is Bin Glebe. Uh, and that's that's where he keeps all his props. So, uh, Bin Glebe, what do you meant, got? I thought you meant B-E-E-N Glebe. Like, I used to. <laughs> yeah. I used to be Ben Glebe. I still am, but I used to, too. Uh, <laughs> I've got Jailer Swift. <laughs> nice. I've got Dim Kardashian. <laughs> you made Everyone, it better on that one. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's favorite rapper, Daisy. <laughs> Justine Bieber, Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> Eaton John. <laughs> Everyone's least favorite rapper, Rake. <laughs> Leonardo DiCap Rizzo <laughs> Tiger Moods <laughs> Semi Lovato She's just partially Lovato <laughs> Robert Downed Jr. <laughs> ben, ben Affleck <laughs> Baron Rogers <laughs> David Chopperfield. That's where you that's where you land your choppers. <laughs> Bradley Pooper. Am Sandler. Just Tip Timberlake. <laughs> Budge <Wow>. Judy. <laughs> Bruno Mars. I just literally ruined a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Dudd. Sleeve Harvey. Sean Hennessy. <laughs> Corey, this is the best he's ever done. Let him finish. <laughs> John Hannity. I just changed. It's one less N, but he's still ruined. <laughs> Paul McCartney, Mall Cop. I know that doesn't follow the rules at all of this game, but I really wanted to say that. <laughs> Lady Gag Gag. <laughs> The weekend with the E put back in. Oh, I fucked him up. <laughs> Nate Griffin and Dale Matthews. That's all I got. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Very hell cool. of a game. Uh, Rachel, do we have anything to catch up on? Yeah, we do. So we had a few tips for Corey come in in a general. So we've got Angela E, $5. I ran across your live Facebook event today by accident. Thanks for the laughs, Corey. Oh, thanks. Uh, Jess and our live audience, $10. Corey, thank you for being so sassy. <laughs> That's me. Uh, Care the Lioness, $5. Corey, I love you. You're, you're pretty. Seriously, though, you're great. Please come back. Oh, so the pretty part was a joke. Okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're pretty, but seriously funny is really kind of a dick. <laughs> I took it. I took it nicely, but that's. I did too. I took it as nicely as Graham had. <laughs> I laugh. Yeah. And then uh, just two more. Tyler Stevens, uh, thank you for another great show. I hope to see Corey and Graham come back. And then Tam in our live audience. Uh, gen she has a general for two reasons. One, just so Rachel can wear the hat, and two, to do, to do something for Corey. <laughs> yes. uh, I have never you know what all the time when I talk to sponsors they'll be like what's your demographic and I was wrong I was wrong the whole time I had no idea I've been going after the wrong sponsorships yeah. Pam is the MVP <laughs> Did love you Corey we didn't, know our going. we didn't know our demographic, but we did definitely know that the show was hosted by a few big boobs. <laughs> <laughs> but they grow on you. That it is. So. <laughs> Chris has been nice all night. You leave Chris's boobs out of this. We, we have <laughs> <laughs> you, Corey. Thank you. You finally get the point of the show. They fucking ripple me, and then I just take it. I get it. I get it. Hey, <laughs> hey. We're all team. We're all team boobers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, That's how, how the lady just make it bad. <laughs> Every time he hears that, he just turns around. Who me? 
<laughs> uh, I declare. <laughs> uh, all right. Are we, we're caught up? We're caught I think, up. All, all right. right. So first we'll say goodbye to our audience. Thank you so much to our lovely on-camera audience, as always. If you want to join us in the front row in a future episode, you can do Thank so you. at laughfromhome.com. Guys, we're great. Um, and with Thanks, guys. that, as the audience shuts off the cameras, we want to say, I uh, want to give uh, Corey a chance to uh, plug anything or tell people how to find you on social media. Please find me on all social media at Corey B, C-O-R-R-E-Y-B. That's Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, um, the new streaming uh, urban flicks. Um, Pornhub, RedTube, X videos. I'm on all of that <laughs> shit. Corey B. And thank y'all so much for having me. I had an amazing time. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks so it. much, Corey. Love you. Congrats right. again on the gram. Uh, Graham, Graham, where K. we find you? Uh, you can find me on uh, Instagram at Instagram K. Instagram K. Uh, <laughs> get it? It's uh, at Insta with uh, Graham is spelled like the cracker and K is spelled K A Y. So Instagram K, uh, and then Twitter is Mr. Graham K. But I, I'm I post a lot of a lot of junk on on Instagram and I'm I'm proud of it. So you should you should tune in. Uh, and also I have a new album called Girlfriend Material, and uh, <laughs> and you could you can find that anywhere. It's about a breakup I had. And I have a new special in Canada, only in Canada, hopefully coming out in America soon. It's on Crave TV. Uh, and uh, I, my, my, my parents saw it. And when uh, I, I called them after they watched it, uh, I, was ho- you know, I was expecting them to be like, really proud of you. And my dad just said, you were really hard on me. And then my mother told me that I had to call him back and apologize. So <laughs> definitely check that out. <laughs> awesome man great job thanks so much appreciate you being here so awesome thanks, thanks uh, for having me you guys are great appreciate it thanks man oh that's with him with a shirt on that's nice all right uh rach <laughs> it's so small it's so small <laughs> <laughs> i never felt worse about myself <laughs> oh, oh. goodbye oh. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel, I'm a I'm a B at best. Don't worry about it. It's uh, okay. <laughs> <I'll get Ben. laughs> All right. Uh Bowers, what what do you got coming up? Uh, you know, I'm just kind of hanging out. I don't know. I've, I've got some stuff in the works, but nothing on the ca- I guess Adam, I'm Adam Ray on the 6th, uh, June 6th. I'm, I'm opening for Adam Ray at Nowhere Comedy Clubs. So check that out, nowheresecomedyclub.com. And follow me at Bowers Comedy. And uh, hey, another great show, guys. Ben, we did miss you. I'm glad you're back. I do think your hair is growing throughout the episode. It has gotten longer as we've gone. I don't know what you're doing. It's very impressive. But, uh, but yeah, I had a great time. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. And uh, Bowers has, you know, nothing coming up except the show of mine that he's on on the 18th. Uh, so he's on that show with me that he does not value enough to plug. And I'm in hurt. three weeks, I'm not going to plug. You think these people are going to remember shit in three weeks? I'm saying That's I'm going to do five days. days. <laughs> Look, uh-huh. I've been following the news. The world will be over by June 12th. Yeah, that's but what I'm saying. On June 11th, <laughs> you know? I have a show, so that's good. You know? uh, Man, I'm, I'm booked for like New Year's. I'm, I'm booked for New Year's Eve in New Zealand. Does that count? I fucking that's seven it's, months from now. Calm down. First, first of all, you are absolutely not booked for New Year's. I Eve mean, not for Zealand, comedy. But... I have a hotel room. Just let's not get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, by the way, you know it's good when Ben is giving us disapproving looks. Like that's <laughs> like, okay, that's too much. Um, so. <laughs> oh, look, the the wood behind me is the same color as the wood behind you. So, um, Mine's harder, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> um you guys were awesome uh as always uh check out my shows at nowherecomedyclub.com and uh, i have an ask us anything tonight so if you enjoy the uh, ad-libbed hijinks you can get more of that there and that's it for me thank you so much and i think we do know they like the ad-libbed hijinks because that's what this show really is even though it's fully scripted also, <laughs> please, please tell me uh, somehow, I don't know, I should have asked for this in the comments earlier, but let me know if you think I should cut my hair. My girlfriend is suggesting that I cut it. I don't necessarily no. want, I don't no. want to get COVID-19 again, so I'm a little torn. 
Let's <laughs> cut it. People saying no or yes, I couldn't hear. No, no haircut. No, it looks good. You got no, good hair. no haircut. Shave the head. Shave the <laughs> head. <laughs> the conflicting messages. Um, it is a little ridiculous to plug 